What's good, y'all? Collegiate Football Legion. We are back with another video where we talk everything college football, especially HBCU football. And today we have an unfortunate story that is making headlines all across the sports world. If you haven't heard, the DB out of Navy Academy, Cameron Kinley, and also the rookie, um, the rookie defensive back for the Buccaneers, undrafted free agent, has been denied by the Navy as far as living out his NFL dream to play for them. He can't go to minicamp. He was allowed a rookie minicamp, but he can't go to minicamp. He has to he has to perform his duty. He has to serve right away, they say. Not only was it denied, not only did they tell him he has to insign, they also gave him no reason for why they came to that decision. You couldn't give this man a reason why you're telling him he cannot live out his NFL dream. And I checked the comments and there was a lot of people saying, well, you made a commitment, blah, blah, blah. Those are fake patriots. OK, I don't I don't even entertain it. But what got me was the people who were saying, fill out your obligation and then go play in the league. Nothing is guaranteed. Nothing. That would be at least two years that he has not put on pads, that he has not <clears throat> hit anyone that he has not covered any receiver and you think he's just going to be allowed to come back like everything's gravy? No. No. It would make more sense for him and he would be older. He would still be young, but he would he would be older. Why not let him? Why not give this give this man the opportunity to live out his dream, see what happens and then let him serve. Because as I'm going to discuss later on, another person was allowed to do that. A, a decorated army member a decorated veteran and a three-time Super Bowl champion was allowed to do it. And he's still serving to this day. So I don't know what was what was the, the decision with him and why he couldn't do it. What made him different? But we're going to get into that a little later. Now, let's talk about his accomplishments first, all right? In 27 games, he had 88 tackles. He had 3.5 tackles for loss. He had a sack, and he had an interception, okay? He was also team captain. He was class president. He, uh, Like I mentioned before, he was a free agent to the Bucks, undrafted, and he did sign with them. So that makes the story even more unfortunate. Now, I want you to listen to this, right? Divine Sports and Entertainment co-founder, went on record when asked about his thoughts on the situation. And he said, as a decorated veteran and as a football player, I understand his commitment to the service. But he also said he understands that there's ways to fulfill both commitments. Those were his words. And then he also went on to say that he works with someone by the name of Joe Cardona. For those of you who don't know Joe Cardona, he is a three-time Super Bowl champion. Okay? And he still serves his country as a Navy um, reservist. So if he can do it, why can't Cameron? Again, his words. This is the co-founder's words. So what does that say? Because if Joe can do it, why can't Cameron? I'm not going to lie. I'm a little upset about this because it it just shouldn't have happened. It, it's one thing to tell him no, because it's not like he was asking, hey, I just went out of this altogether. I don't want to fulfill my commitment anymore. He's not saying that. He's just saying, hey, let me allow me to live out my dream first and let me see how that goes. And then I will fulfill my obligations. Your, my, my obligation that I made to you guys will get fulfilled. I understand that taxpayers paid for my education. I understand that. All I'm asking is to live out my dream and let me see how that goes. That is all I'm asking. And they told him no with no explanation. The class president. That's ridiculous. Okay. And then he also went on to say this could affect his mental health going forward because he wants to fulfill his childhood dreams, as I just said, and he and honorably serving his country. He wants to do both. And it's not impossible for him to do both. He's for, to not do both. I'm sorry. He's one person. He's one person. I doubt y'all needed him right away. I'm sorry. I just really feel like you didn't need him immediately. 
he could have at least he could have at least had the experience to be in minicamp with the veterans. He dreamed about this his whole life, man. Imagine, and you get the opportunity in the country that you're going to put your life on the line for, who you, you fully intend to keep your commitment to, tells you, no, it's not going to happen. But, of course, he's a positive guy, so he's keeping a positive spirit, which you love about him. But that doesn't mean that we, as sports fans or people who just watch the news, don't have a right to be upset for him. Because it breaks your heart to see. All right? Now, he did graduate last week where he presented a gift to Kamala Harris during the graduation ceremony. Another great experience for him. This this dude, he seems like a stand-up guy. He seems like a stand-up guy. He's smart. No one speaks down on him from any of the tweets that popped out about him from his peers or anyone that he's met, nothing negative has come up about this kid. Now, here's where I'm confused. Because in 2019, the former Secretary of Defense, Mark Esper, signed a memo under the direction of former President Donald Trump Donald Trump, to open the door for athletes of service academies to delay active duty military service to play pro sports. That was in 2019. And from what I've read, it hasn't been it hasn't been taken back. That rule hasn't been changed. So what what makes him unable to do it? Unless that's only for military servicemen? Maybe. But even then, this is just unfair. And with all this going on, does he pout? Does he get mad? Does he blame anyone? No. Take a look at what he says, man. Thursday. Many times in life, we find ourselves in the conflict of what we think is unfair versus what God knows is right. Sometimes you can do everything the right way and still not end up where you want to be at the end of the day. It isn't time to be frustrated. Remember that God is intentional. He's not surprised by anything that's going on in your life. This is the time to keep the faith and find peace in his promise. Just like Jesus told his disciples, you do not realize now what I'm doing, but later you will understand. He then goes on to post so much uh, um, inspirational quotes like this, as you see, just a stand up guy, man, a real stand up guy. Now, when you when the news broke, when ESPN and Sports Illustrated and everyone, every every sports media outlet, even non sports media outlets, when they when they were dropping this story, because it's still new, there were people in the comment section, the fake patriots, of course, is, is what I'm going to call them. Um Basically saying, good. He should go go right away. He made a commitment. He needs to stick to it. He didn't dodge anything. He's not trying to dodge anything. He just wants to delay it for a little bit. Keyword, delay. You know, so reading the comments, it just, it pisses you off a little bit. But you understand some people just are that ignorant. You know, they're so, they're so USA- or at least they pretend to be, that they can't really see straight. They can't think straight. There were others saying, you know, I'm pretty sure football isn't as important as serving your country. And I wholeheartedly disagree. I'm going to just leave it at that. I wholeheartedly disagree. I'm not going to get too political, but I just disagree. But we wish we wish Cameron nothing but the best, man. And hopefully, after he's done, he gets another shot at the NFL. It would be a great redemption story. You would just love to see it. You just love to see it. Anyway, man, if y'all made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. This is Collegiate Football Legion, where we talk everything college football again. Peace.